Hello, I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll consider how to balance our emotions with our judgment to support us in making strong decisions. We'll begin by sitting on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. And when you're ready, allow your eyes to close. And soften the muscles behind your eyes. Soften your jaw and turn your attention to your breathing. Let's take three deep breaths together. Begin with a deep inhale and hold it in and a long full exhale. An even deeper breath in and pause holding it and a full exhale. One last big inhale and hold and a deep exhale letting go of everything. Now let your breath settle into a comfortable rhythm. Watch your inhale and exhale come and go. Notice the steady stream of thoughts that arise in your mind. Some may linger for a while, others can pass in an instant. As your thoughts float by, just notice what kind of thoughts are they, without trying to control them. If a thought makes you feel happy, notice that feeling. If a thought makes you unhappy, notice that too. And many or even most of your thoughts may simply be neutral. Be sure to notice those as well. Continue to watch your thoughts and label them for a few moments in silence. back into the body with a deep breath. Notice how that breath feels. Notice if the body is tight and if the breath is strained. Or if the breath feels fresh and energizes you. And tune into your feelings, even if you don't know their source. From moment to moment, notice if you feel happy, antsy, nervous, bored, sad, or anything else. Instead of getting lost in thoughts every few moments, 
simply say to yourself, whatever moods, feelings, or emotions you observe. If you feel happy, say happy. If you feel anxious, say anxious. Many feelings may pass quickly. Some will linger longer than others. Continue this for a few minutes in silence. go of labeling and noticing any moods or feelings and return your focus to the inhale and exhale again. The range of feelings that we experience exists for a reason. They may not always be rational though. In fact, they can often make us think or do irrational things. Feelings are meant to be felt even if they are misleading, baseless, or fleeting. Sometimes our feelings are meant to be acted on, but sometimes we can learn more about what our feelings are telling us by tuning into them. With practice, we can start to hear our feelings without irrationally acting on them. When we feel fear in a strange situation, it can be helpful intuition to help us from danger. But if we are afraid of doing something because we find it difficult, it can be a place where fear is only interfering with our ability to reach our goals or step outside of our comfort zone. We may not overcome that kind of fear by ignoring it, but we can overcome it by examining our feelings and taking away their power. Similarly, we might find joy in a number of healthy or harmless pleasures, but we may also have some unhealthy habits that we enjoy. It can be important to factor our feelings into things, but not make feelings our only consideration. Feelings can be a powerful tool in guiding us, reminding us to stay in touch with our emotions without letting them take complete control. With mindfulness, we can become aware when our feelings are leading us to a helpful or harmful way. But this balance between reason and emotion requires being present and mindful. When we practice mindfulness meditation, 
we can label our thoughts and moods as they arise. This may allow us to become more acutely aware of how we think, what we're feeling, and the desires that arise from those thoughts and feelings. The more we practice this awareness and meditation, the more we can start to become aware of how our thoughts and feelings affect us in real time in all we do. When we can notice a feeling arise and ask ourselves what it means in that moment, then it can lose its power to make us act and guide us in making decisions that align with our values. Come back into your body now. Take one last clearing breath in and hold it and let it go. Then allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.